celebrate all of you guys um you that made it thus far please what ambassador sam said is very critical because don't i want you guys i want you guys to succeed but there's one element you need to first of all find out in this business i'm going to deal with other elements but there's one element i find out that most people are undermining and that is lack of consistency it has been this is the rule in network marketing it's been like that ever since, ever. There's no, there are no uh, shortcuts to it. And people don't know it is a thing. And what is that? If you leave this business for one week without activity and add one more week to it, when you come back, it's as if you're starting from the beginning. It's as if you have lost six months. Hi. The day I understood this was when my business crashed, almost completely crashed because I lost one of my leaders then. And I took my time to recuperate. Oh boy, when I started, I was like starting from scratch. Because you're, you're like, but I've sponsored people now. Let these people go and do something. It's only two weeks. It's only two weeks I decided to just lay low. Just two weeks. It could even be two weekends. Why can't they do this? They can't do anything. They are babies. And any baby in this business that you allow two weeks of no attention you lost that baby, guaranteed. See, it is not by chance. This is science backed with years of experience in my business. I mean, years of experience. Leave someone for two weeks, you've lost the person. As far as network marketing is concerned, forget it. Go and look for another person. Sponsor new people. When I understood it as a principle, that was what helped me to rise. You see, these are the some of the mistakes we made, right? I never had the mind to leave the business for one month, three, three weeks, nah, nah, nah. But what I mean by leaving the business for two weeks, you reduced activity for two weeks. Hmm. But boss, hey, two weeks, is it not too short? My brother, now, so I see I'm, <laughs> I'm not the one that fixed that narrative or occurrence. That's just the way it is. And most of you will bear me witness. Please, if you, if you have experienced this concept, please type five on the comment section. If you have experienced this concept, just type five so that others who are still not sure, is it right? Is it not right? They can relate that this is not only me. I'm not trying to scare you. This is how it works. All right. So if you're not typing five, look at the comment section and see the many five. If it's happened to you, if it's not happened to you, please wait until you reduce your energy for five weeks. Now, you know, there's a, there's a level you get to, it may not be the case again, but it will always be the case if you have new downline who are not yet settled. If if you have new downlines who are not yet settles, who are not yet leaders, who are not yet kingsmen, oh, forget it. You are not, you go nowhere. Even if it takes you six months of consistency, please don't go anywhere. I can't overemphasize this. There's a, there, there's no other way I want to push this for you to understand other than to let you know that this is an occurrence in network marketing everywhere. It doesn't matter. You may have a downline who has been around for, for two months and they've been at any cell meeting, they've been present they've been the trick is you might think this person is serious this person is serious this person is not yet a leader leave the business for one week two weeks that person is gone i'm telling you the truth may not happen to you on our words but if it has happened to you now you know don't even when you have a kingsman no are you not seeing some kingsman who are lagging behind lagging behind you're seeing it but where you can effectively say, aha, I can breathe, is when you have helped your kingsmen rise to the rank of the emergency leader. Aha, uh -huh. your, your kingsmen are now making money as emergency leaders because they have five kingsmen. Aha, uh -huh. they've gotten that experience. Aha, uh -huh. so if you have three of them like that in your team, you can now slow down. Otherwise, oh boy, now consistent, consistent firing. So now here's the challenge. The challenge is this. Ha, huh. boss, moment, that's tough for... I know, I know. Guys, you know, what? like what I, I was teaching you guys about perception and perspective. If your perception is that this business can be tough, yes, you know it's tough. It doesn't give you time for anything like that. You're always focused on the business. And do you know what you begin to think? You begin to think that once you begin to think that this business is tough, Mm -hmm. You fall into a dangerous trap. That trap is there is a way it is easier. There should be another thing I can do to make money easily. Once you fall into that trap, you're gone. I was watching a, a document, a, a podcast, right? On the youngest crypto millionaire, youngest crypto millionaire. And he's doing a challenge for himself. I mean, he's made a lot of money. He has, he has a Bugatti, yeah, you're quite young, right? In his 20s. But in UK, right? He has a private jet, cryptocurrency, right? Now, watch this. I'm a researcher and I, I go out of my way to acquire knowledge as it will benefit me to be the best 
in my field, not by changing my field, but by understanding what drives people successful people in their field, I will extrapolate those characteristics, implement those characteristics in my field, I begin to succeed in my field. Did you get that? I'm not looking for, oh, this is the best field. Oh, real estate is the best. Cryptocurrency is the best. Network marketing is the best. No, we have millionaires in network marketing. We have millionaires in cryptocurrency. We have millionaires in real estate. We have millionaires in banking. We have millionaires in politics. We have millionaires in virtually almost any venture you can think of. We have millionaires in shit business. The guy that started this shit, this uh, mobile shit toilet is a millionaire today. So we have millionaires in every venture. We have millionaires in the automobile venture, right? We have millionaires everywhere. I am not looking for a new venture. I'm looking for characteristic trait that successful people in banking and finance, automobile business, real estate business, cryptocurrency business, or investment, forex business or investment, I'm looking for their characteristic traits that they have acquired that is giving them that massive success. I extrapolate, 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 boom, put it inside me. I begin to succeed in my network marketing business. Are you hearing me? Why am I speaking to you guys like this? Because you are the next generation leaders in our business. When you begin to look at, now look at what will happen to you. If you look at somebody who's successful, you you want, the next thing you see, what, what are they doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, cryptocurrency, that's a natural thing that comes to my, our mind, right? What is he doing? Forex. Ah, I want to go and join him. What is he doing? Network marketing. Oh, I want to go and join him, right? It's a natural human disposition. Nat it's natural. You are not asking, what is that guy doing to get him success? You're asking, in what field is he doing what he's doing? Therefore, I want to go into that field. And that is why most people now convert into that field and they are still broke. They are still struggling there. What does that tell me? It is not the field. It is the character of the person playing in the field. Oh, um, the Formula One race is a car race event, Formula One, right? And you heard, oh, this guy is the winner. Ah, he, he dusted everybody. Really? What car? What car did he use? Oh, it's a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. You now start looking at how, how you're going to run your races with Ferrari. Hello? Hello? Ferrari was winning races before there was Lamborghini. They started manufacturing Lamborghini, but then there was no driver to drive the Lamborghini. Ferrari was still winning the races so until they got, got a, a driver that was hardcore and he used a Lamborghini to win a Ferrari. You're not hearing. The common denominator for success is who you become. It's not the business you do. It's who you become. Who is doing that business that matters, not the business necessarily. Hold on a second. One second, please. Now, this young man had an interview with a couple of podcasters, young podcasters. They were in a private jet and they were asking him about um, Forex and uh, cryptocurrency. I think he made his money. He made his fortune in Forex. Can I make this? Can I make the? Can I take the statement again about the common denominator who you become? The common de denominator is, is not in what people are doing, is in who is doing what they are doing. It's not in what people are doing is in who is doing what they're doing. Stop looking for what Dangote is doing. Dangote is in oil and gas, but there are small boys who are richer than Dangote today, but they're not in oil and gas. What I'm trying to say is that there are millionaires in oil and gas. There are millionaires in crypto. There are millionaires in Forex. There are millionaires in network marketing. There are millionaires in banking and finance, automobile. There are millionaires everywhere. The common denominator is the millionaires make the difference in those in those ventures because of their characteristics, characteristic trait, not because of the business, because in that field, there are poor people struggling there. In oil and gas, there are people losing money and cleaning themselves. In automobile, there are people in debt today. They are not progressing. In crypto, there are people who are committed suicide because they've lost their money. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the business you do or your venture you do that is important. It is the person who is doing the business that is important. Therefore, stop thinking about money. Start thinking about yourself. How committed are you in your field? If all of us begin to possess this mindset, we will form a community. And that is what I'm about to launch out. We will form a powerful community. Listen, it is not the car. It is who is driving the car. So some of you who are beginning to think of, let me go and do this, let me go and do this. Enough. In fact, 
The point I wanted to make is this. You might say, I want to go out. This business is kind of difficult because it requires your presence every single day. Look at this guy now. He's in Forex. He's just chilling. He has a Bugatti. He has a Ferrari. He has this. Let me go. I mean, this guy trades in his house. He doesn't need to go out. And he's making a whole lot of money. And you want to go and do Forex, right? Now, in the interview, that guy, if he tells you, and if anybody tells you that in Forex, you could make it in three months or in two months, you can blow. By their results, you believe it, Abby? The same thing in this business. Somebody can tell you, oh, you can join us because they see you've bought your car, you've built your house, you've done this. They want to follow you. Do you know what? By default, the human brain works like that. It looks at success and what brings the success. That is the venture or business that bring, brings the success. They want to join you, feeling that that business will bring success to you, the way that business brought success to him. Look at the trajectory. Business, success, Elumelu, bank. So let me go and start my own bank so that bank will bring success to me. The way bank brought success to Elumelu, hello, do you know how many people have started banks and they have collapsed today? They are in their village, banking cowries in their village today. They are banking cowries, cowries. So if you want to pay dowry for your marriage, you go to them, they will give you dowry. These are people who started banks in Lagos. Why? The natural tendency of every human being is to look at the business of venture and look at the successful man. Oh, you're successful. What gave you the success? The business. Ah, let me start that business. Error. The business Business did not bring success to the man. The man created success through that business. So who should you be looking at? Who the man became to create the success using that business? Who the man became in order to create success using that business? Because he could have simply used that capacity to create success in another business. Are you hearing me? It is who Dangote became that created the success in cement business. It is that same capacity he used to create success in spaghetti business. It is that same capacity he used to create success in what? Water business. Now, it is that same capacity he's now bringing into the oil and gas business. Am I speaking to somebody? Is who you become that brings success in the things you do. It's not the things you do that bring success to you. That is the summary. Let me say it again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is who you become that brings success to the business you do. It is not the business that brings success. It's not. That's what I'm saying. Now, in the interview, they were asking this guy, and he was saying that um, now there's a current challenge he's doing. He wants to turn $100 to $100,000. Abi, yeah. He wants to turn $100 to $100,000 by trading Forex. And for the past six months, he started early this year. For the past six months, based on when the, the podcast came out, he, had, he hadn't gotten to that level. But this is a guy who has big... He has, I mean, he's rich already through Forex, all right? Super rich already, young age, in his 20s. But now he tries to, he's trying to use $100 and trade with $100 and get to $100,000. But it's taking him six months and he's still not able to do it. Hmm. And they asked him, so why is it taking you time to do it? He said he wasn't uh, emotionally prepared, but now he's emotionally prepared. Because for you to get to hundred thousand dollars you have to be ready to risk it all and he's been trying to be cautious and yet build the hundred dollar to hundred thousand dollars you know they work so now he's going to be ready to risk it all but the reason he's now ready to risk it all is he doesn't have anything to lose he already has money already so he cannot focus on the game. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe somebody will come and tell you that if you use $100, you can trade and become a millionaire. Abby? Now, a millionaire in the forex industry is trying to do that six months. He never do one. This is somebody that has years of experience in forex trading. Years! He couldn't replicate it in six months. There's a possibility he may not be able to replicate it in one year. Hmm. What does that tell me? Anybody who comes and tells you you can succeed and become super rich in six months, four months, one year is lying to you. Either they want to take your money or they are stuck illiterate. This is somebody that has super experience in the same Forex. So they started asking more questions and he entered and and then and, and then he made it very clear. Is this not what I've been teaching you guys? He made it very clear. Please don't go into Forex if you don't have a source of income. Now he's not saying it as principle. He's saying it based on his experience. But principle says you can't trade if you don't have cash flow. That is principle. 
Trading is invest. In other words, have a business that brings cash flow or have a job that brings heavy cash flow before you begin to trade. Robert Kiyosaki said, don't get a job before you trade. No, get a business that gives you cash flow before you begin to trade. Those are principles. But we no go here. Hmm. This is him saying it, but then he didn't know when he said it because he still has programs that will teach you how to make $100 to $100,000 and he's trying to replicate it. It might take him, he will get there, but it will not happen immediately. That's the point. The point is it will never, no matter how skillful you are, it won't happen immediately. Even if it happens immediately, you lose it immediately because that's what he did. He kept on losing when it was now, he, even though he went all in. So what does that tell you? It tells you one silent truth. If you pursue money because you lack money, you will never get money. If you pursue money because of lack of money, you will always lose money. Why? If you don't have money and you are pursuing money, hmm? you will not be patient to build momentum in the business that will bring the money to you. Therefore, you will lose the money. For instance, you need to eat. You need to pay rent. You need to pay school fee. You start this business. You make 150000 You pay school fees with 150000 Pay some of the house rent with 150000 But this business, you still have one account. Have you seen how you've eaten your seed? Why? Because you are pursuing money because of lack of money. Change your, that is your perception of money. That is your perception of money. Because you see money as a means to spend. Spend on school fees. Spend on, you are not seeing money as a tool until you begin to see money as a tool that will help you create value in the marketplace. Money is a tool for value. Money is not for spending. Until you begin to see that that you will continue to lack money forever and ever. It is not a prophecy, it's a statement of fact. I have seen it. It has happened to me. It means that there must be a time in your life you must face lack head on, back to back. You face it head on. No money, no feeding, no nothing, no grace. Go through it. If you're on the same level in life today, you find yourself stuck. It means you're not going through your challenge. You are in the challenge. So you have to make an effort to get through it by showing up. Listen to me. Money must be seen as a tool to acquire value or create value or increase value. It is when value is in the marketplace that money comes to you. See, once you have value in the marketplace, value attracts money. I have this phone. It is valuable to me. I paid a huge sum to get it. I have this laptop. It's valuable to me. I paid a huge sum to get it. The camera I'm using is valuable. I paid huge sum. These are millions that I spent in all these things. Now, this is not up to a million, but it's valuable to me aesthetically, all right? Cost of much, but then I paid to get it. I didn't pick it up. I paid to get it. But guess what? As I'm paying, money is leaving my pocket. Who is getting this money? Those who put this value in the market. Can I shock you that if this phone was not in the market, I wouldn't be able to buy it. I want to buy a strap of this wristwatch. This is why I want to buy the orange one and the blue and the black and the, I want to buy them to change this strap. I want to buy the silver one. I need it, but it's not in the market. It's not in the market yet. If they don't put this in the market, will they make money? No. So value is one thing. Value in the market space is another thing. But then listen to me. If I bring out my money and I buy the strap whenever I get to the market, this is going to get in the market this week. And I and I buy it, right? And I pay, let's say I pay half a million, maybe 500, uh, no, maybe 250K, maybe 500K. I don't know how much it's going to be. And I pay it, right? And I purchase one. Hmm? Listen, listen, listen. And I, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I purchase one. The manufacturer has my money. Now, it's either the manufacturer eats this money, but do you know that if the, man, the manufacturer can eat the money, the manufacturer Manufacturer can say, ah, uh, my child's school fees. Oh, uh, we have not paid rent. Oh, oh, bring the money and they eat it. Tomorrow, I use the new strap, the orange one. Someone said, I love it. I love the strap. Where did you get it from? I got it from there. Now, because the guy has eaten the money I pay, the new person cannot buy another one. The manufacturer is bankrupt because he saw money as a means for spending. But the other manufacturer who sees money as a tool for value, he will get that money. He has not paid the rent. He packs into his friend's house or he goes under the bridge or he has a makeshift, goes 
and stays with the mother and then use the money I used to buy this to what manufacture another one. And then another person pays, he manufactures another one. Another person, what is he doing? He's using money to increase value. But this value as he's increasing it, he's putting a little bit more profit on them. Now, when he sells 1,000 units of this, ay, 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 the 1,000 units will take time to sell. It won't be sold in one day in most cases, right? Depending, I'm just giving scenarios, but in real life, it doesn't work as fast as this. It takes time. Selling one will not break you even. Selling two won't give you, get you there, depending on what you're selling and how much you put in. So you are targeting, there's a target. So the target could be 100 units for you to break even. The target could be 1,000 units for you to break even. The, 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 the target could be, okay, I need to sell 10,000. If I sell 10,000, I am now in $10 million profit, Abby. Uh -huh. So what do you do? It might take me one year to sell up 10,000 units. Ooh, so what do you do? That one year, year of sacrifice is the year of suffering. My brother, what is your year of suffering? What is your month of suffering? This is supposed to be your month of suffering. Some of you are still playing. You need to hit your target. You need to sponsor 10 people. Some of you are still playing. What is your month of suffering? What is your year of suffering? For that suffering has got to happen. But some of us don't want to suffer. So let me let me finish my analogy. That period that the person is staying with the mother, is staying under the bridge, is staying because he couldn't pay the school fees, he couldn't pay the rent and stuff like that. And it's, it's re remanding the kids at home because he can't pay their school fees. This is how the rich think. This is what I have studied. I'm not looking at what the rich is doing. I'm looking at who the rich is. Let's cut all this nonsensical attitudes that is weighing us down and break through. I'm looking at the minarism. Look at... Look at Elon Musk. Elon Musk, everybody's praising him. He launched the 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 the, the, the Op Optimus robot. He launched the the, the taxi that uh, is autonomous. He launched all these things. Man, this guy's a billionaire. This guy's an inventor. But have you looked into his life? How did he start? He sold PayPal for a hundred million dollars. Out of the hundred million dollars, he put some dollars, some millions into SpaceX. He put some millions into his uh, into his. What's, the, what's this company that manufactures solar? He put it there. He put one in, in his car. He put some millions in his car. It was Tesla, right? Excuse me, the remaining one was not enough to buy a house. He rented a house. Whoa! Sorry, man. But I have to be a little bit dramatic so that you guys will catch this. He put millions, I've forgotten exactly how much, he put millions into PayPal, Tesla, the one, the, his company that manufactures solar. The remaining amount was not enough to buy a house. He had to rent. But before he even rented, he was sleeping in, in his office. Oh, how many people can have that kind of money and not buy a house first? How many people can have that? Do you know what a hundred million dollars is? Do you know what a hundred million dollars is? I'm not talking about, I'm not talking to Americans now. I'm talking to Nigerians. Do you know what a hundred dollar is? Now, add zero upon zero upon zero, then hundred million dollars. You know what it means. Say you get hundred million dollars and you don't buy a car. Am I crazy? You have hundred million dollars. You did not buy a house. Am I, am, am I smoking banner? I don't know if I'm shouting. I love using that phrase. <laughs> He's a comedian. That uses it, but it did not enter my body now. I don't know if I'm shouting. Sir. That is 170 billion naira, and you don't buy a house. Eh? So some of you will not say, ah, he's into eh, eh, he's in Tesla, electric cars. That's what made him rich. And you go and start your electric car company, and you will be electrocuted for life. You will be electrocuted for life because the first batch you manufacture, you go and buy one house in Banana Island. Don't look at the business people are doing. Don't look at the investments they're doing. Don't look at the, the business model. Look at the people. I mean, where when you are considering those who are successful. Oh, he's successful in real estate. Leave the real estate. Real estate is not the issue. There are many unsuccessful people in real estate. They are failing. Look at the life of the success in real estate. That is what you are interested in. His, his habits is what you're interested in. What does that tell you about Elon Musk? Oh, some people are saying, oh, because their father gave you money. Hello, uh, do you know how many people their fathers have given them money and they have squandered all their money? People talk from their bum bum these days, not from their brains. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm shouting. I love that phrase. I'll keep saying it until the owner trade maxes. it. <laughs> Come on now, because it brings out my explanation properly. Listen, today is the day you would receive. I will continue to say these things until you guys begin to change. I know that change don't come overnight, but it's repetition of certain things that your subconscious mind will open. Getting back to Elon Musk, this guy, this guy's work ethic. The reason why you cannot be as rich as him is because you don't possess his work ethic, his work habit. That's just it. Not that, not that you 
you cannot succeed in network marketing. Who told you that? I'm succeeding, in fact, but then my success is still nothing because I've not even gotten to the level of to the level of Houghton box. I'm not. And I know why. My work ethic needs to pump up. It's not network marketing. It's not aligned. Some of you will not say, do you know that some people left Alliance Emotion Global Partnership and they went into what what was Houghton Box company then? Please, somebody help. That is um Ah, who can remember Holton Boggs Network Marketing Company? Uh, who, who can remember now? Not I Am Mastery. No, no, no. No, no, no. Organo Gold. Um, Organo Gold. People left now. When we started, we started in 2016. People left M Global and went to Organo. Organo Gold is crashed in Nigeria. <laughs> Do you know, I'm telling you guys the ordinary truth. It's simple. They they saw Holton Boggs. Oh my goodness, Houghton Box. He and Houghton Box is coming to Nigeria with Organo Gold. Oh my goodness. Oh, that means it's Organo Gold that is making Houghton Box rich. So they entered Organo Gold. They left here, pursued Organo Gold instead of pursuing. Meanwhile, what I was pursuing, I was pursuing the, I was looking at, who is this guy? Who's Houghton Box? What makes him tick? What is his work ethic? How does he think? I went, I consumed his book. The book is here. Maybe I'm going to send it to you guys. I read his book, find out how he thinks, to find out what pushes him. Oh boy, I found out that Houghton Boss does not start a business, he launches a business. Mm -hmm. He does not start a business, he launches a business. Oh boy, when I started here, I launched out. I did not start, I lost out. I called everybody I knew to my cousin's house, batch by batch, because I heard he, one of his trainings that when he launched out, he sent messages Send them, okay, by 9 o'clock, I'm going to meet you guys. By 9 o'clock, uh, we're going to just have 45 minutes because 10 o'clock, I'll have another meeting. Please come to my house. And they came. Before 10 o'clock, another set of people were at his door. They said, guys, I have to meet. There's another set. If you start now, this set will be under you. If you don't start now, no problem. You'll be under this set. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. And then he opened the door. This one's left. That's launching out. He, he didn't start a business. Let me try. Trial and error. Oh boy, I started implementing it here. Here I am today in the same M global that people run away. Am I communicating, sir? Am I communicating, sir? Say yes, sir. Don't look at businesses people are doing. Look at the, the successful people in those businesses. Look at their attributes. Mm, collect it. For this business, there's money here. We never scratch surface. There is money here. Am I communicating? If you lack money, if you want to make money because you lack money, you lose money. If you want to make money because you lack money, you will lose money. How would you make money? When you want to create value and put in the marketplace, you will make more money than you've ever imagined. So remove your brain from money. Think value. Either what value am I manufacturing or what value am I pushing in the marketplace? AIM Global is paying us because we are pushing value in the marketplace when people start they're buying their products which is value so the value is already there so how do i make money let me push more value in the marketplace through my network i'll make stupendous amounts of money it is that simple the simple does not mean it will happen overnight remember the the the, the principle of process the dude that was that became super rich in forex now try to replicate making a hundred dollars, transforming it or growing it from hundred dollars to hundred thousand dollars is still never doing. As I speak to you now, is still never doing. Will he eventually do it? Oh yes, I am absolutely sure he will eventually do it. But it will take a process. That is the process people don't want to identify with. Do you know why they don't want to identify with that process? Because they are pursuing money because they lack money. So. They, do, they don't want to identify with the process. So they want to cut short and get the money because they are looking for money. They will lose the money because there is no system to replicate the money. Even the natural order of things, for there to be a product, there's got to be a manufacturing of the product. If the product is valuable, there's got, to be, there's got to also be a process of putting the product in the marketplace. There's also a process of purchases to be made, and there's also a pr process of accountability, and then a process of harvest, and then a process of profit. I'm not communicating. It takes a process. But once you get the process online, all right? So listen, listen, guys, listen. Ooh. So this will help you to be grounded properly. I am not saying this to retain you in network marketing. I'm just sharing principles, all right? These are principle related. It has nothing to do with, oh, I, boss wants us to remain here. I mean, if you've stayed with me long enough, you'll understand that I'm a man of principle.
I don't speak sentimentally, all right? I mean, you you, you guys are kingsmen and above. You know me by now. And that is why I don't want to launch this with everybody. Because when I speak like this to majority of people, I also stand the risk of people thinking, oh, he wants us to remain in the business so that he'll be making more money, you know? I don't mind people thinking like that. But my ultimate desire is that you are a, you are truly a millionaire. That's my ultimate desire. Will I make money from your business activity? Oh, yes, I will. It's natural. That's how this compensation plan is. I will make some percentage, but the percentage I'm making is not from you. The percentage I'm making is from the company. Do you understand? It's not from you. It's from the company. The company is rewarding me, okay? Because I am balancing my business. If you are only one person under me and you are making so much money, I cannot make matching bonus from you. I can't. In fact, you'll be making more money than me. Therefore, I'm not training you because I'm going to make money from you. I'm training you because I want you to actually stand and be a millionaire indeed. And what I would perhaps gain from it is, and I'm going to be selfish here, and I used to say this, I'm going to say it again. If you use the principles I teach and you begin to make some result, you know, there, there won't be anything wrong if you if you said, uh, just call my name when you're giving your testimony. Oh, Ambassador Nefo was instrumental in one little way or another in helping me to get to this level. Ah, I'll be, it will be a great joy for me. Not the money. My money is sorted out, oh, guys. It's sorted out by God's grace. But what will give me joy is that at least all this, all this uh, training, it helps somebody do you understand? At least say it help you somehow because it would be a useless time, waste of time that I, you know, attempted to help and then my help was not useful, you know, because no matter how much money I have, if I'm not impactful to anybody's life, then I've, I've wasted my time, right? So that is my own joy, not necessarily the money because honestly speaking, my money sorted out, honestly, from this business and I'm going to get make more. That, that one is, is, is a given. But again, watch this. Do you know how many people that have quit this business? And my money is still growing. So what does that tell you? Anybody that quits to any leader, if you're a true leader and you understand this business, anybody that quits your business in less than three weeks, 15 people will replace them. That's how it works. It will be as if the person never existed in your business. I'm telling you the honest truth. Leaders here know what I'm saying. People have been quitting since 2016. What are you talking about? They've been quitting. Give it to, see, for me now it's two weeks. For some of you, it might take one month. You will realize that 15 people have replaced that person that left. That's how this, that's how the network marketing works. And that is why people, leaders don't quit. They understand this subliminally.